what's up you guys my name is Skylar I know I haven't uploaded a video in a while it's because I went to London if you follow my Instagram you would know that I went to London for two weeks since I went abroad that means I bought stuff and like it's London there are so many exciting things in the city it made me very insanely excited in this video it's going to be a London haul yeah without further ado let's hop into this haul video okay there isn't any specific order because my things are just scattered here all on my bed so i'm just gonna pick one and tell you guys about it first of all is this hat it's a cambridge hat since i'm lazy and sometimes when i wake up in the morning i would want to style my hair a hat is a perfect thing for me and by the way i also bought some things for my friends but i'm not going to show it because i know they watch my videos i'm not going to show you what i bought for you guys because that was spoiling the surprise and here are just some typical london keychains i bought and i actually got this at a store for free because I don't the guy was cool and nice so I got it for free I wouldn't exactly call this a souvenir but this is the oyster card for the London tube I'm a weirdo I collect things I wouldn't throw this away there's probably like 2.4 pounds still inside you know I've always told my friend that fidget spinner is like overrated because everybody's playing with it like they put it on their kittens on their horses on their dog and I always despised the idea of following the trend but when I went to London I feel like this is a very cool thing look at it spider-man I'm not going to talk about how I feel about the homecoming version of Spider-Man. Andrew Garfield will always be the Spider-Man in my opinion, so let's not talk about that. In all the Marvel films, Spider-Man is probably the one that I actually watched because I don't really understand Marvel and DC. Wonder Woman? Is Wonder Woman Marvel or DC? Spider-Man. It's like when you're bored. I finally understand what's the hype, you know? I always loved the idea of being two Tumblr and this is what I bought, like never grew up. I love Peter Pan and this is what I bought as well because I don't know, some cold just stuck with me. Like how lucky am I to have something that makes saying goodbye so hard to beautiful canvases. And as I told you guys, I'm a huge Harry Potter nerd. I identify myself as a Hufflepuff and this is a Hufflepuff shirt I bought in the store and I love Hufflepuff. E. And here is a pin for Hufflepuff. I have friends who don't really understand Harry Potter but they always go to the stores and be like, I'm a Gryffindor. I'm like, no, you're not. You didn't do the Pottermore test. You don't know what house you're in. And they're always like, oh, I'm a Gryffindor. And go on and buy the scarves, you know, the red and yellow scarves and wear it on winter days and be like, ah, Avocadabra, shushu bong bong. And I remember when I was a kid, my teacher always read us Mr. Somebody books and Mr is somebody books i was at the wh smith what do all londoners call it and i saw this mr <laughs> nobody but i know it may sound depressing but there's this one line in the end that really touched me well i told you so Everybody says somebody. I don't know. I just love the last line. So I just bought it. Harry Potter nerd I also got a badge pack. If you're not a Harry Potter fan, you would have no idea what's going on Like a badge with always just because you're allowed to use magic now does not mean you have to whip your wands out for everything So this is a badge pack. There are amazing street performers in London and some of them have like their voice is so beautiful And I bought their CDs. These two are from a guy in Bath <laughs> This, he was performing at Leicester Square. He sang Ed Sheeran's Give Me Love, and I was in love, <laughs> and I bought the CD. Give a time to me. This up. And there's this classy cool CD by a group of humans playing the instrument. They were performing at Covent Garden, like somewhere near the place. I told you guys that I'm a Harry Potter nerd and have I also told you guys that I'm a musical nerd. We originally planned on only watching one musical, Wicked, when we go to London, but we ended up watching three, like musical nerd, because it's not something you could watch in Taiwan. Taiwan's stadium doesn't offer the same effect as the theaters in London. Anyways, for Wicked, I bought a t-shirt. Also, the material is good. I bought a t-shirt. Like, this is the first time I'd always known Wicked because Defying Gravity, come on. This is the first time I've seen Wicked and it's beautiful. Beautiful. Because I And also I bought the new musical CD, so I bought this. 
and a t-shirt for Wicked. And also a keychain. Like there's this Galinda's pink shoe and the Wicked Witch's hat and Wicked. I went and watched Le Mis with my family on the second last day of our trip and I bought a shirt. Also I bought a small pen because why not? I love history as long as it doesn't test me. One part of history that always intrigues me are the Greek and Roman history because I like the mythology and I just like the idea. I don't know, just it intrigues me in some way and I bought this small keychain. You could see that it's like Greek and Roman. And also this pencil box. I'm probably not gonna use it. It's a tin box of a, a mummy. Like in the future if I ever shrunk, I could use this as my bed. So it's always good to have preparation, you know? And I bought two magazines. One is the History magazine. Also, I got this Diva magazine. This is a July issue, I think. I bought it for Shannon, honestly. She was on Twitter and she was like, okay, if you guys got a copy, tweet me or tag me in a photo. And I was like, of course I'm going to do that because if I was in Taiwan, I would have to go online to the bookstore and buy it and have to wait until two to four weeks to actually have it to arrive at my doorstep. So being able to get one magazine like this in store in shop is an amazing concept for me so yeah i got this i'm a book nerd english books has always been my preference when it comes to reading books like chinese books are amazing but i just don't know how to pick out good chinese books normally when people tour a city they would be like okay let's go watch the big ben let's go watch the london bridge yay and i'm like let's go to a bookstore yay so i got myself quite a lot of books everything i don't remember last scene like they're all thrillers trust me lost boy i originally didn't want to buy it because this is like a twisted version of peter pan and i was talking to my friend at the bookstore and she was like go buy it buy it this is more on a positive note so i'll read this someday soon so i bought books so another thing i got you know when you can't make any friends in real life you buy them so i bought myself a friend no way <laughs> i bought myself a friend my sister is there i bought myself a friend and look at it besties so that is about the things that i bought in london this is the end of my video london is an amazing place to visit people in london are all very friendly i was actually shocked because i went online i know internet is not a reliable place but it's always good to have an idea of what the city is like and london is like named the least friendly city in the world and i was afraid that when i get there because me i'm asian and i have short hair you know me looking like this people would discriminate and stare and be rude to us but i realized that's not what happened people are all very friendly i hope you guys enjoyed this video don't forget to give me a like and subscribe in case you still haven't don't forget to click on that bell button so you get notified every time i upload a new video i hope you guys enjoyed and i'll see you guys in another new video until next time Bye. No place so far away, all beyond that's how we'll stay.